Yo, it's your boy Official Bleak OB. Now you rocking with Underground Alley, you remember? I dropped your number about a thousand times. All I remember, you were full of flies. No traveling, I smoke in this cloud that is smelling like gasoline. And if you're not a fan of me, just pay attention, but these haters are probably sleep. They call me bleak, but it's OB. Little niggas back in with the lingo. We flashing your pressure, no, yeah, we gon' hurt them. Just watch how we pull out the We hit the plant, we gon' be running shit. We give it back when we done with it. Now I'm not lying, the funny shit. We getting it too when the money lit. My shorty so bad, she don't punish me. So antisocial, who you coming with? Just don't bring around the funny shit. We turn the shit up for the fuck of it. We gon' count cattle, we see body body, throw my shit up for my niggas. Yeah, I'm from the island, we was always wild, only hang out with the realest. Stop with that chat and I get it Fuck what you saying, we winning All these opinions and no facts You might as well just my business Hey guys, you're now watching Underground Alley And today's guest, we have official Bleak in the building How you doing today? I'm good, man, blessed Good, good Motivated. That's good um, Where are you from? From Brooklyn, Coney Island to be specific mm-hmm. I've been all over since I was a baby But yeah, I grew up, born and raised I'm in Brooklyn Born and raised Oh wow! So you've been here all your life? Uh, yeah, Brooklyn, not Coney Island. Yeah. Okay. Here, like here. Okay. Uh, Brooklyn in general, because I've been from Flatbush to over here, over there. So. Okay, so you've been all over the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coney Island. Coney Island. <laughs> Where did the name officially come from? Uh, the official came from me later on in my little rap rap thing. But Bleak came from my brother Akeem. He mm-hmm. like we always had little crazy nicknames back then. Mm-hmm. So he just came out of nowhere and started calling me Bleak. So I'm like, ah, I feel like that, I like that. <laughs> and then along the line, when mm-hmm. I was rapping, I just felt a little cocky confident. So I'm like, I'm official, like I'm, I'm official bleak, because niggas always like, yo, it's a it's a Memphis bleak. So I'm like, nah, I'm the official one, bro. Mm-hmm. Official bleak. Okay, that's dope. What inspired you to get into music? Uh, I tell this to everybody, like, my first mixtape every like, ever in life, my mother got me Get Rich or Die Trying. After that, like, I, I really was like, I'm like, nah, I like hip-hop, I like music. Mm-hmm. But I was always younger, I always listened, like, my mother played gospel around the house. Mm-hmm. Um, Phil Perry, I don't know, people know that. Oh, excuse R&B, me, yeah. so you know your so gospel I to, music. <laughs> I, know, I, I know a little bit here and there, R&B, old school, this and that, so mm-hmm. I'm just... Like grew up in a house where it was always music playing. I just like to be, I like to vibe, mm-hmm. uh, I like all of that. So I just got started at a young age. Once that gear reaches that trying to bump it, I'm like, yeah, I'm not rap. Yeah, it's good to get in tune with other genres instead of just mm-hmm. focusing That's on fun. one. Who was your favorite MCs to listen to growing up? Mm, growing up, yeah, so yeah, 50 was one. He got me in my bag. I was like, yeah, I need to be on some gangster shit. <laughs> and as you get along, you start hearing the lyrics and Start certain styles from people, so you're like, I, I like, I like J Cole, I like Kendrick, so it's like, my my list would probably be like J Cole, Kendrick, I like Drake, mm-hmm. and it's not like, I think they all like, oh they nice rappers, I like they like the way they're artists, like I like the way they move, I like yeah. their business, I like certain things they do, like I don't care about ghost writers, I don't care about none of that. If you can make a song, if you could really be an artist, I, I fuck with that. So it's like J Cole, Drake, I like Nipsey, mm-hmm. yeah. 50, I still listen to 50, and now the young generation coming up, so I listen to a little bit of that too. Yeah. So a little bit of everything. As an artist, we go through certain turbulence and obstacles to get our music out. What advice would you give to someone starting a music business for the first time? Like stay consistent, for real, because mm-hmm. people just, you, you get distracted by other people's success and kind of want to rush yourself or be like, dang, I ain't never going to make it because he's blowing up, so let me just stop right now. Just stay consistent, move at your own pace. Do you do what you feel like? Like be you. Don't even try to be his style, his style. Like just do you. Like whatever you good at, go 100% with that in the rap thing. And then just don't mind all the the background noise. Mm-hmm. Complete this sentence. Mm-hmm. The hardest thing about rapping is getting support. Man. Mm-hmm. That's the hardest thing for me. I, I, I guess I'm speaking for myself, but. A lot, a lot of people can vouch for that, but it's getting support. Like, you just don't get a million views over overnight. Man. Yeah. And usually the support comes, you know, outside yeah, yeah, your yeah. home, Sometimes you know? Sometimes you don't got enough homies to, to, to make a million views, so you got to go outside. Like, I need more, more support. I need more help. Yeah, exactly. What are your views of the music industry today with the business and what is expected as an artist? I mean, right now... Uh, at first, when you're young, you think it's all lit. Oh, I'm about to get a check. I'm about to get signed. Now it's kind of more business, mm-hmm. so you're kind of more like 
standoffish. I don't wanna I don't wanna say like you kinda holding off, but you kinda standoffish before you once you hear like yo, you, you about to get signed for a dig, like I right, hold on. Cause you hear about three sixties, you hear about this and that, people not getting any money mm-hmm. being used. So now it's a different outlook on being signed or being in a, in a rap game. A lot of people want to go independent now because they don't want to deal with all the, the BS that goes on. So I, I take a I take a second a second thought on all the, everything in the music industry because it's it's a lot of crazy stuff I've heard and I'm like yeah I ain't ready to rush into that but mm-hmm. I do want to get into that eventually. Yeah. The that was actually gonna be my next question. Do you prefer to go independent or mainstream and explain why? Yeah, I wanna like. It's kind, of, it's kind of two parts to this because mm-hmm. I want to be independent and I see a lot of vets in the game they start signing deals along the line like yeah. once they in once they in it 20 years 10 years 15 years they start signing deals mm-hmm. so that's kind of how I want to move I want to be independent first I want to make my own money get paid on shows that are distribution deal with this person mm-hmm. and then along the line probably sign the deal mm-hmm. so yeah right, for right now independent I see that a lot of OG rappers are coming back with new music like Busy Bone from Bone Thug and Harmony, Wu Tang, Juvenile, Jada Kiss, and many more other artists. Um, do you think new rappers today are showing respect to the OGs? A lot are, because they they ignorant to it. Mm-hmm. Not even not even on no rowdy type of ignorant or something. They don't know. They don't know a lot of these rappers. They don't know. They don't know a lot of Kiss songs. Yeah, yeah. They don't know a lot of these people's songs. So it's like when they come back, they like, oh, this old nigga back again. Like, we don't know who this old nigga is. <laughs> It's nice. You wrap yeah. some circles around you. Exactly. It might teach you something. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's a hundred percent respect for the OGs, but mm-hmm. people that real right, people that really fuck with hip hop, they they get respect. Yeah. Right. What makes your music different from other artists? I'm, I feel like I could do any type of any type of music. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like it's just not balls or no. You wanna you wanna do the little little Uzi stuff, the little mumble rap, I can do that too. You wanna talk about how your life going, I can do that too. You wanna talk about guns and shoes, I can do that too. Like I'm going like I feel like my whole demeanor and what I'm about in this rap is being versatile. Mm-hmm. Right. Everybody can't say they could do a lot. I could battle them, but <laughs> a lot yeah. of people say they can't do that. Exactly. So I'm I, I just pride myself for being versatile, and being able to do any type of style, flow, mm-hmm. and music. If you weren't doing music, what would you be doing? Probably something in construction. <laughs> <laughs> for construction, real. really? Like, yeah, I get to the, I like I don't never have a, a problem finding a job, so that's what that's what it always been. Mm-hmm. It's not like I love like the the fact that music could get me somewhere and I'm focused on that. Now I like music, that's just like a little hobby. I could do that whenever. It's mm-hmm. just I always fall back on my job, honestly. Cause I, I ain't really skilled enough. I can't draw, I can't really do much else. I play like, sports and stuff, but. Uh, what sports do you play? Well, I, I played a little bit of basketball. I played baseball when I was younger, mm-hmm. a little bit of football, stuff like that. Okay, you really active. Were there ever a time that you wanted to quit music? I mean, when you get, when you get like, it's a certain, certain point when you, you feel like you deserve a certain amount of support. Mm-hmm. When you feel like you OD nice, you got the confidence, you got, yeah, I'm better than everybody. And then it don't, you like, it don't show on the views, it don't show on the yeah. likes. You get kind of depressed, you get down, you're like, damn, I do I want to still do this shit? <laughs> so it's like, it's probably one time I did it, but then it's like, I thought about it, but it's like, I like music, right? I like doing this shit. I don't have to do it for a reason. I could just do it just so I could hear myself on the track. Like, oh, I just wrote this. I, I want to hear it in my, to myself. Like, I could just bump myself all day. So I don't have to go nowhere. I just like mm-hmm. my own music. So. And even other artists, they can inspire you because you can say, oh, damn, I could do that better than mm-hmm. that person. So That's let me... Right. Let me see what I could write to that. Which city is your favorite city to perform at and why? Uh, I only performed in like out here. I performed in North Burrow. I mean, I only performed out here. Mm-hmm. Um, it was only like Brooklyn, Queens, Jersey, stuff like that. Jersey wasn't, it was just like strip club vibes. It wasn't too crazy. Mm. So the most love I, I got was out here in Brooklyn. Yeah. yeah. Name your top favorite MCs of all time right now. Starting from number five. I mean, probably, it's probably not know that, but um, I like, as in like, artist, artist wise, it's not like who's the best or whatever, but artist wise, I like J. Cole, mm-hmm. I like Drake, mm-hmm. I like 50. Uh, I ain't gonna go too new right now. Um, 
or like what's a video like Nipsey. Or like um and I like Kiss. It's more, it's more people, but those mm-hmm. are people that I could be like, yeah, I could go back and find some shit that I know has worked. <laughs> yeah. What are your methods of writing a song? Um, do you have to listen to the beat to write it, or you yeah, don't need a beat to write I'm not, it? I'm not a person that needs a beat. I'm not really a, a freestyle like either, so I just like, like, give me the beat, and that's it. Give me the beat. Mm-hmm. Have you ever had issues working with other artists? Uh, the only issue I have is when niggas take forever in the studio. So, like, don't, <laughs> don't say like you, you nice, you OD, you this and that, and then take five hours in there, bro. Like, you trying to get something done. That's the only thing I don't like about this, but hey, if you, if you trash, if you whatever, I don't care. Uh-huh. Do your thing, just don't take forever. Bro. Yeah, because I see people coming in here, you know, they, they have to write you know, write their song right then and there, and I'm like, okay, but it's taking them a minute, and I'm like, okay, why don't you come prepared, you know? You know what track you, you're gonna work on, so come prepared. But, you know, people are different, you know? I be preaching that too, I always come prepared. I always come with my song written down, mm-hmm. everything, how I know I want it to flow, how I know I want to say it, like, I always come Yeah, who is your favorite underground artist out right now? Favorite? Mm-hmm. Mm. Favorite, I fuck with. I don't got one favorite, but I fuck with. I fuck with my son Black Side. I fuck with Quay Bands. Mm-hmm. I fuck with um my son Low Key. He's, and, and mind you, I bump y'all music too, so mm-hmm. just know that. That's these good. People, these people I got on playlists, and I, I could really like bump shit. Like if, we, if you performing, I could say your shit back to you. <laughs> <laughs> so Low Key, Black Side, Quay Bands. Mm-hmm. Uh, UFO, y'all know the thing. It's all of us. Um, yeah, man, that's that. Like the whole eight. Um, what's that? HSN. That's mm-hmm. so I'm killing them. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's a it's a bunch of underground people out here, man. That's doing their thing, and I, I I show true support. Like I'll put your show on my phone and bump it every day just to yeah. like the song. And I realize a lot of artists in Coney Island they do support each other, yeah. which is very rare everywhere else, you know. Okay. If you could perform anywhere in the world, where would it be? Uh, I'm trying to think, probably like, probably like Dubai or something. <laughs> Why? <laughs> that's foreign, foreign. Like, I want to perform that's there, odd. but it's like in order to perform there, they will have to know your music. So if they yeah. do know my music, that'll be the next level fire. Yeah, and they show a lot more love international, too. They probably shoot up AKs or something. (laughs) (laughs) Shoot, you never know. (laughs) But they do show, really, you know, they show a lot of love internationally. But sad to say, but it is what it is. You might get more buzz international than, you know, the States. Yeah, you will. All right, so we're going to play this game that I made up call fill in the rhyme fill in the space after what i what i say mm-hmm. and i'm gonna let you know if you're right or not okay yeah, well it's a it's part of a song okay, so I gotta know the, the yeah song. you gotta you gotta tell me what comes next okay. every day when i'm rolling through the hood players watch me because they know i <laughs> i'm sorry i'm, I'm said, terrible at rap it he said players yeah, every day when I'm rolling through the hood, players watch me because they know I. And this is one of your your, your MCs that you like. No, I'm understood. <laughs> you want me to say it again? Because this sounds like something Nipsey would say. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> but I don't know. Understood? That's, that's the thing. You give up? I kind of do. Okay, I'm gonna say it again and I'm gonna give you another try. Every day when I'm rolling through the hood, players watch me because they know I. Gato. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, Gato. Oh. Gato. I don't know. Players watch me because they know I shine. Oh. Jada Kiss. Oh, because they know I shine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Everybody should know this. Okay, when the rain hits my window, I take an inhale, cough me some endo. Me and Timberland, ooh, we sang a. You said we sing a what? Singer? We sang a. Say it 
When the rain hits my window, I take an inhale, cough me some endo, me and Timbaland, ooh, we sang a... <laughs> Yo, Timbaland? Who is that Timbaland? <laughs> Who is that Timbaland? On what? Got a... Alright, one more time. No, okay. I, I think I know. When the rain hits my window, I take a inhale, cough me some endo. Me and Timberland, ooh, we sang a. <laughs> we sang a jangle. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was um Missy. Oh. Uh, I can't stand the rain. I hit that minute. I know, right? It's been a minute. You know I thug them, fuck them, love them, leave them Cause I don't fuck them, need them Take them out the hood, keep them looking good But I don't fucking feed them First time they fuss, I'm Damn, yeah, I know exactly, <laughs> I know exactly the song it is. But it's the way I'm saying it, right? It kinda is right? Okay, I'ma try my best, let me, let me do it again Okay you know why I thug him, fuck him, love him, leave him, cause I fucking need, need him. Take him out the hood, keep him looking good, but I don't fucking feed him. First time we fuss, I'm. First time we fuss, what? First time they fuss, I'm. What's the next one? Oh. <laughs> oh, fuss. It's either fuss and fight or something like that? Nah, right. <laughs> I know exactly what song that is. You want me to say it again? No, I know exactly that the line is playing in my head because I know exactly <laughs> what song it is. It's ludicrous shit. <laughs> Take my hood, mm, 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 mm. Damn, I don't even know. <laughs> Okay, you know I thug them, fuck them, love them, leave them, cause I don't fuck them, need them. Take them out of the hood, keep them looking good, but I don't fuck them, feed them. First when they fuss, I'm breezing. Oh, uh, that's a that's go to. J so I, Jay Z. I, I, I was on the. Oh, that was Jay Z. Big Pimpin'. <laughs> I know, right? I they kind of got the, like the same kind of flow a little so, bit. Um, I'm on the. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing too. All right, the next one is the last one. All right, I'm, I'm gonna try my best with this one. All right, hey, I remember syrup, sandwiches, and crime allowances. Finesse a nigga with some counterfeits, but now I'm counting this Parmesan. Where am I counting? Oh, yeah. Wait, I'm counting this. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. That's Kendrick, right? Yeah. Is it this? No. no. You want me to do it over? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, I remember syrup sandwiches and crime allowances. Finesse a nigga with some counterfeits, but now I'm counting this Parmesan. Where my counting? Parmesan, where my counting fits? Nah. Nah. <laughs> I'm just doing shit that rhymes. <laughs> what rhymes with this? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> it. Shit. <laughs> That's dead Kendrick shit. Yeah. He said Parmesan where my accountant. Same one. Hey, I remember syrup sandwiches and crime allowances. Vanessa nigga with some counterfeits, but now I'm counting this. Parmesan with my accountant. Where my accountant. Where my accountant fits. <laughs> no. <laughs> where my accountant <laughs> Where my accountant ships? <laughs> you give up? Yeah, I give up. Where my accountant lives? Oh, wow. <laughs> you, you did good. Well, Hell somewhat. No. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I got it. I got it. Either ever. I moved, I moved like one song. I think it's because of me, too, the way I'm, I'm rapping it, though. But. No, nah, I got the last two. Yeah, I got what song it was. Like yeah. You know, the yeah. But you did good. Thank you for playing the yeah, alley yeah, game. Yeah, I like that. That was fun. That was fun. Yes. I always wanted to do this. <laughs> Where can people look for you on social media? Are you performing? Anywhere? Uh, I ain't performing now, but top five is out right now. You already know, recorded right here, the studio. All right. Um, what we got going on? SoundCloud is official bleak. 
YouTube, official bleep. Mm -hmm. IG is official, official X bleep altogether. Mm -hmm. uh, Twitter is official bleep. My Facebook is Brandon McNeil, two L's. That's my real name. I had to do that for a reason. Mm -hmm. don't, don't judge me. It's Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, official bleep is the name, man. You can just type that in anything. I'm on, I'm on Spotify real quick with a couple features. My son is black. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. There's more music coming soon. I'm just putting it up the right way. I'm trying to do it right. I'm not trying to do it sloppy. Quality yeah. Over quantity, man. Which is good. Good. And you collaborating with anybody else? Um, me and my son Luciano, mm -hmm. Chillionaires, we got a, a feature coming up, that shit is dope, mm -hmm. and funny shit. Okay, we gotta I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get, um, I'm about to have a little feature with Buck Buck, we mm -hmm. got some in the works or whatever. Uh, me and Black Sav got some in the works together. Okay. Yeah, but whoever, whoever else trying to get in tune, just holler at me, man. DMs is open, inbox is open, mm -hmm. see me in the street, what up bro, what's good? Just send me a beat, let's just get to it. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming to the channel, mm -hmm. though. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. your time. Mm -hmm. And everybody's going to be checking out your music coming up. Mm -hmm. And um, thank you guys for watching Underground Alley. Until next time, peace out. We're sliding in the freshest shit off the breath. I know you hold on to his precious because you can't get it back. I keep it real, so do my niggas. I run with the trailers. Fast cars and all the millions. We want it and gotta get it. Listen, when we pull up in Porsche, they gon' be sick of us. Angry stage, yeah, they envious. Never scared, cause we dangerous. Focus high, cause we aiming up, throwing cells. We don't give a fuck. Ain't nothing surprising. We come from the 